Wonder what you say about me But my name gets brought up all the time Do you tell your friends all the same shit? I tell mine I tell mine Do you leave out all the good things and pretend? Two years is I wait too much time to forget I remember you like the day that we met even after all of the things that we said Cause What is up guys, this is Nakamore, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you guys what is my setup for the drifting in BMW M4 GR4. Let me talk about this car real quick, alright? First, this car is not a drift car, it's meant to be racing car. Okay, but if you want to drift this car, it's fine also because it's pretty decent drift car to be honest. And I actually kind of like it. Because in real life, I drive a Beamer 335i 2015. And this car is, is like a big brother of that class that I'm driving right now. So, it's, it's a very good drift car. Uh, it's just the downforce of it. It just irritated me sometimes because of that grip into the downforce is kind of hard to get into drifting but uh, when after you get used to the car is pretty easy to drift but uh, one thing that I like about this car is that it can also be drifting with a slow car or with a fast car you know, you just need to learn how to brake and use the e-brake properly. And on the video here, I'm using a steering wheel, the T300RS. And uh, I don't have an e-brake. My e-brake is a button, so it's very hard for me to tandem. I'm sorry if I straighten out sometime, please understand me. But if you guys want to see some awesome door to door to door, you know. I can use a controller if you guys want me to do that, but I prefer using a steering wheel because it's more smooth than the controller, you know. And uh, this thing is almost stock. It got 400 horsepower. I raised it up a little bit from the stock engine. I leave the weight alone and uh, I slam this bitch, you know, right to the ground. Uh, and um, yeah, it's almost stopped, but uh, I get rid of the downforce, I put it all the way down, but I still can't get rid of it because it's a race car, so you can't do nothing about it. And the transmission is that I use four gears to drift, you know, fourth gear to drift, and uh, uh, my top speed is like 168, and uh, I race it more down where my fourth gear is top speed at 92 mile per hour and that's a decent uh, drifting gear all right and I use high gear because if I'm about to spin out I just shift down to my third gear or second to go back to my drifting position so I don't spin out or I just break you know and uh, the brake is uh, negative two in the front so when I'm about to spawn out, I just brake. So, and my car will will not spawn out. All right. And uh, yeah, this car, I'll give it a 9.0 out of 10. 
I uh, just need to get rid of downforce, you know, that's all the problem, you know. The sound is good. The sound is very good. The pop pop, you know, is when you shift down, the pop pop is fucking amazing, man. GT, good job on the sound system. You finally made it a good game. Good job. Clap, clap. Yeah. So, yeah, this car is a good drift car. Uh, I see a lot of people drift them because... It's, it's a very unique car um, for the next drift setup I'm planning to do the Mercedes one the GTS one AMG and I'm probably gonna do that on stock but I'm probably tune it up a little bit more but uh, yeah thank you for everyone who joined my lobby and do the video with me uh, it was a, it was a good time uh, yeah so this car is it's a good drift car you guys should try it out uh, I hope my drift setup helps you a lot because I use this on a steering wheel and on a controller so it will work on both way and uh, yeah so basically this car can drift stocks if you want to but I tune it up just a little tiny bit all right just to make it more oversteer and uh, yeah guys that be it you guys enjoy the rest of the video and if you guys enjoy this video don't forget to hit this like button let's get over 20 likes and I will do more kind of this shit video and yeah this is Nakamore and I see you guys later all right peace Back then I never thought that we'd be here